Hi, welcome in. I am Trucker Rudy from Canada, and to find out what we are up to today, stay tuned right after the intro. <music> The 18 wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Hey there, we all come in it is a gorgeous morning out here today a little bit on the cool side but what can you expect it is getting towards that time of the year where we will start to see some frost and i have i have but we are getting an early start the sun is not quite up just yet yeah so we are going to be out of here in a very short time so let's get down on the road and have ourselves a fantastic Saturday. Thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. I hope you enjoy it. And that's right along with me. And let's have an awesome day together. We are on I-94 just cruising along. We've been driving for about three and three quarter hours already. Yeah. And uh, there is a petrol truck stop just coming up here at 108 mile marker. I'm in Wisconsin. And I am going to go make me a pit stop in there. Yeah. And I was just sitting there thinking about it, thinking about uh, what I can record for, for today. And I'll see if I'll still think about it by the time I leave that patrol, but uh, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, maybe uh, giving you a outside shot on the camera. Maybe what I'm going to do is put up the mirror again, uh, the, the camera on top of the mirror and give you guys a little bit of a different angle again. I haven't done that in such a long time, you know. And I was just sitting there thinking about that, you know, and I thought, well, today is absolutely gorgeous day out there. Why not do something like that, you know? I mean, uh, winter is going to be here very soon, and then I'll have so much stuff, you know, coming off of other vehicles, tires that will be almost impossible to record because it will cover the lens real fast, you know? So I thought, you know what maybe I'll do that today so let's see if I think about it a little bit later and we'll give you guys a little bit of a different angle but first we're going to go in there and uh, going to go to the petrol and grab yourself a bite to eat I haven't had anything to eat today so we're kind of getting hungry so let's get down over there and See you over there. This is it, guys. We are pulling into the truck stop. Petro truck stop it in is. In 700 feet, turn left on yeah. Kinney Road, and then turn right in 950 feet. I kind of like this truck stop, you know. I go here all the time. I mean, all the time. Yeah, they got a very nice blue beacon truck wash in here. They do a very nice job in there. Had my truck washed in there more than once. Almost always it's full in there as well. We're not gonna do a truck wash today because we just had a truck wash at home and the truck still looks pretty good, so I don't think we need a truck wash turn today. Kinney Road and then turn right in 950 feet. Yeah, RJ is trying to tell me where to go. No, there ain't even that many trucks in there. Look like they only had one or two trucks in there. That's it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go park her in here somewhere. This is actually a fairly big truck stop. As you can see, there's one line here, and then there's enough for two trucks on that line. And then there's another line over there yet, so... 
fairly big truck stop. It usually doesn't get full. I mean, the odd in time it gets feet. full in turn here. Turn left on Kinney Road and then turn right in 350 feet. Uh, generally, it doesn't get all the way full, but I'm just going to go in fuller and right feet, here. Turn left on Kinney Road and then turn right in 350 feet. I don't really mind walking that much, so I'll just pull it right in here and then, uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta stretch a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that felt good. All right, so we'll see you guys a little bit later. This is it, guys. We are at the truck stop. Just walking towards the uh, truck stop over there. It is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day out here today. So we're going to go inside, and you know what? They got a dairy cream in there. Yes, trucker jukebox. They do have a dairy cream in there. So we're going to go inside and have a good bite to eat and maybe get us a good ice cream. So we'll see you inside. Well guys, this is it. Look at that. It's a nice truck up there, eh? We got some, uh, some fish up here. If you guys like fish, they got some fish in here. Hey, 42 Northside, is this one bigger than yours? Just a thought, just a thought. We got some nice fish up here, that's for sure. <laughs> No, this is funny. This is funny. It is Halloween, guys. Yep, very close to Halloween. Alrighty, guys, it's time to have something to eat. So let's have a look what we're having. We're having a nice chicken alfredo. Yes, that's gonna have something good to eat. Well, guys, what did I tell you? We're gonna have a nice ice cream. Yes. Hmm. That's some good ice cream. Well guys, this is it. Here we go. I told you I was gonna try this new camera angle. Yeah, so we got the other camera out there on the mirror. You're gonna try something different for a while, you know? Or not for a while. I, I haven't tried this for a while. That's, that's the way I wanted to say it. I used to do that quite often, but since the uh, last little while, I haven't really done it, so it's time to try different angles, you know. I saw Trucker Jukebox had a different angle on one of his camera there today, or a couple of days ago, or whatever. And I like it. I really do, so figure out. I gotta try different angles, too. I. I've had this clip for a long time, but I haven't really used it all summer. But it's time to try it again. See what you guys think, especially for the guys that are new to my channel. I've probably never seen it. But here we are. We're doing it again. We just left the uh, Petro truck stop there a little bit ago. Putting the hammer down, the goal is to get to Effingham, Illinois tonight. That is the goal for today. Which I think I should be there fairly early. Yep. Come on, four wheeler, you can do it. Oh, you're gonna be an idiot. Okay, all right. All you have to do is step on it just a tiny little bit. And you would have been right on that highway, but no, no, you have to, instead of that, you just stop on the brakes, you know. Oh, well, some people, they don't have brains. I don't know, whatever. That's four-wheelers sometimes, but what a gorgeous day out here, isn't it? I'm just enjoying it so much, nice sunshine. Oh yeah. Anyways, we uh, we are planning to get to Affingham, like I said earlier, and uh, if everything will go according to plan, I suspect to meet somebody over there. Now we'll see if that will fall through with the plan, but that's sort of the goal right now. Anyways, that's uh, 
put the hammer down over there and hope for the best. Hope that person is going to be there. So I'll see you guys all a little bit later. I just went through Bloomington, Illinois. Yeah. We are on I-74 and so yeah, it is just an absolutely beautiful day out here to be driving. I mean, hardly any wind that I can notice. I'm getting excellent fuel mileage today. It's just nice and easily cruising along, you know. I just love it. Oh, yeah. Just having a lot of fun cruising along, so... I'm just having a hard time thinking of what I'm going to be filming, you know. So, I figured, well, I got to film something. So, I figured, well, may as well just give a couple of shout-outs then. Figured I would start with uh, JP Mallet. Give you a shout-out. You're a very super nice guy. My whole family is met you except for our daughter, but uh, you're a nice guy. I know 42 North Side is always out here uh, watching my videos, although he hasn't been commenting on a few videos here in the last little while, so I don't know if he's behind or what, but uh, and then I also know uh, Barkley. He hasn't been on my channel very much either lately. And then there is Trucker Jukebox, who could forget him, right? He's a YouTuber as well. So if you like more trucking videos, check him out. He's got his own YouTube channel there. He's got some nice videos. I watch him every single day. Oh yeah. And who else do we got on here? Joe Perello. He's a new subscriber, but he's uh, he's always watching my videos as well. As far as I know, he's commenting uh, on a lot of you, uh, a lot of my videos. We appreciate you guys. We. Uh, we met his son uh, Chris Perello. He's always hosting the uh, vlogger fair events in the last couple of years. That's what he's been doing. That's where we were in Seattle. We actually got to meet him. Yeah, who else is out there? Uh, I know Linda hasn't been commenting very much on my videos either lately but uh, she's watching she's watching I definitely know she's watching I know David Cable and uh, Braxton uh, haven't been commenting on my videos either very much but uh, that's okay just figured I'd give you guys a few shout outs out here and uh, Ronnie Weeks is always watching my uh, my videos. We love you, brother. We really do. We love the music that you create for us and for everybody else. You're a very nice guy. Anyways, there are so many out there. <laughs> it's hard to go through to keep everybody in mind, you know. But, uh, Anyways, I just figured I'd give a few shout-outs today, at least to give me something to talk about today. It's a pretty cool looking truck up there. I hope you guys like the new angle on the camera. It is not going to be a, a, an everyday thing like that. I just figured I'd do something different here once in a while, you know. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here. I think we got about a hundred miles to go or something like that to Effingham, uh, Illinois. I think that's about as far as we will go tonight. I think we'll have a good, uh, you know, good drive in today. Good drive tomorrow and we'll be in uh, Lincoln, Alabama. 
want to do I do want to try and get to uh, Lincoln Alabama early because that's always a hard place to get parking it's a really small uh, pilot in there especially considering Sunday it's going to be even harder to find parking in there you know well we'll make it happen we'll make it happen and Monday uh, morning we'll do our trailer switch in the link in there and then uh, make our way over to Louisiana yeah so let's continue on with our journey and uh, have a fantastic ride over to our uh, final destination for the night anyways yeah guys it has come to the time where we are rolling into Effingham Illinois. Turn right on West Fayette Avenue. Yeah, that's right. We are in Effingham, Illinois. I have decided to go to the Petro up here. Yep. And I talked to the person that I was going to be meeting here. Hey. Ray? Oh, he's calling for Ray. I guess I'll just turn it off and just will Yeah, I don't know if they got an actual turning light here, but I don't really see one, but... Yes, they got one up there, but the stop line is up here, so how the heck are you supposed to see it, but... Anyways, where I was going to get to is, uh... The person that I was going to meet here said that they uh, wasn't going to make it here, so. Uh, In 800 feet, turn left on Bowder Belt West and then approaching destination on the left side. In 550 feet. I guess we will uh, just have to be here by ourselves. I guess so, but I just saw something down there that uh, kind of looked interesting, you know, they got a restaurant up there and it says barbecue, so I might just go over there and check it out, you know. But yeah, so we are definitely going to go pull in here to the Petro. We got close to probably about 580 Approaching miles in today. In 400 feet on the left side. I only have like 530 miles to go for tomorrow. So I figured, you know what? Not really worth rushing. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Petro with income number 321. All right, RJ, you tell them. You just go ahead and tell them. That's okay. I'm gonna go see if we can find us a parking spot somewhere. That one was full there, but looks pretty full in there. I don't know what's going on today, but I guess everybody's trying to park here early for the weekend, and I am in the, in the truck stop here, so I'm just going real slow, so don't mind me touching my GPS, as Jukebox would like to say it. I think there's a parking spot right over the there. A little bit out of the way for some people, you know. Now we uh, be a bit quieter. But I think I am going to go check out that uh, barbecue place out there. See what kind of barbecue they got up there. Let's Proceed see. To the highlighted route. Yeah, 527 miles to our final destination tomorrow. Well, yeah, we can just cruise are right in here nice and easy yeah that's a good spot right here for me anyways I like it like right here in the corner should be nice and quiet peaceful yeah that should about do it Alrighty, we'll see you guys in a little bit well guys we are done for today and I told you guys we're stopping here at the Petro 
Yeah, we went over there and uh, checked out that barbecue place down there. And, yeah, it was pretty good. It was not bad. Yeah, it certainly wasn't the best ribs I had, like pork ribs, but uh, yeah, it was not too shabby, I would say. And But, uh, anyways, I'm back in the truck and, uh, yeah, I'm tired now. <laughs> I had to go for a good walk to get there because they got this whole yard blocked off with the fence so you can't really walk through there. So I had to actually walk all the way over there to the building and then go across over there to get there. So, But that's okay. I need the walking sometimes too, you know. But uh, I figured I'd finish off my show and go to bed. I am going to get out of here tomorrow early morning because uh, that pilot that I'm going to is a very small one and uh, it usually fills up pretty quick so I want to get there early and it's a tight one to get into too so I definitely want to get there early enough so I can get me a spot so let's go do that and then we'll see you guys again tomorrow I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and if you did hey don't forget to give me that big thumbs up and if you really liked it share that video because somebody else might also like it and if you're new to our channel ha huh, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button and if you are using the app you could use that little bell uh, button there and that will actually notify you when I upload a new video sometimes throughout the day I might upload a new video so with that have a good one everybody and we will be sure to have you on board again tomorrow so good night or good day whatever it is for you it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down